Oh, she really cute. Like, she's cute. She's fucking fine. This is how I get all the niggas, all the old niggas to swipe them visas, period. channel for today's video we are doing a chit chat get ready with me i hope you guys enjoyed this one because this is a topic that i've been wanting to talk about for a while just because i mentioned it somewhere and y'all was going in on me well y'all wasn't really going in on me y'all was just saying stuff in the comments it wasn't bad or nothing you know we love to talk shit on my channel and i love to get y'all opinions anyway so it really doesn't matter so yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell to be notified every time your girl posts videos. And that's period. So don't not click it, okay? Because, you know, it's the end of 2019. Like, where the fuck did it go? So, you know, it's grind time, honey. It's, it's grind time. So yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, bitch. I'm not playing, okay? god i'm really just feeling myself i'm sorry so anyways let's just get right into the video let me catch a vibe hey y'all what's popping welcome back to my channel for today's video we're gonna be doing a chit chat get ready with me and i didn't do my view kind of way this i gotta see myself bitch what the fuck oh so anyways <laughs> Okay, so today will be a chit chat get ready with me um uh, yeah it's been a while since i did one and the topic that we're going to be talking about today i've been wanting to do because i said something in my one of my vlogs and there was just a lot of comments about it blah 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 whatever whatever and i just wanted to address the situation y'all really didn't say anything bad i just want to know like i just want to make this a topic of discussion you know just a little video so we can chat and i can get y'all opinions on it or whatever like this is what we do on my channel so let's do it okay y'all before we even get started into the video the chit chat makeup stuff like that i just want to talk about my hair first because i literally just washed it i just got this installed y'all can see the little wrap to lay my baby hairs i literally had to keep this on because i just washed it in the shower because it had glue in it girl i had to bounce it back and i was like let me just record it like bouncing back because I want y'all to know the tea. So this is a wig by Julia Hair Company. This hair is actually bomb. Like, girl, I literally just washed it and blow dried it. I didn't even flat iron it yet. I'm about to right now. It's still shiny and soft and cute. And yeah, I just need to relay my baby hairs before I even get to flat iron it. So let's see how it's looking under here because I was sweating in the shower and I don't know how this is gonna look. So we'll see. Okay, period. Period. Oh fuck. Period pool. Yes, this is one of my favorite installs. Like I haven't had a black wig in so long, y'all. And I was really excited how my wig turned out when my stylist put it on. And it's bomb. Look at my baby hairs. Like they still hitting slaying and this lace is a little bit dark but my um stylist put like powder on it to match my skin tone underneath the lace so make sure if you get this installed by somebody or you do it yourself just make sure you know like how to like you know maneuver the color and stuff like that because that's what he had to do and i love how it turned out i love this hair i love this lace i love this wig honey but this wig is like a natural a natural black wig like it's not thick um uh, but you can always add bundles to it but i didn't want to add bundles to it because i like my wigs to look more natural and like you know black so and i can't i have a big head already so i can't keep adding hair because my head is big i can't have a thick you know wig on so yeah no. i like to i like how it is honestly like i like how natural it is so we're about to flat iron it you know do too much to it that's what i like about this way you don't gotta do too much you just throw this motherfucking on and go to your dick appointment bitch 
What the fuck? That is so fucking rude. Anyway. And I believe this is 26 inches. All the hair details on this hair will be in the description box below. As always. And this is in the a middle part. And I'm gonna relay my baby hairs in a second. Oh god. I'm so happy I don't gotta do too much to this. Because usually when I get straight hair, I still got to like, you know, do it piece by piece. And this is not crunchy at all, girl. I just love seeing the baby. Look how natural this... Girl, I'm just too geeked over here, okay? And I still got to take an Instagram photo today, so I'm going to be chalet. As soon as I get back, she gets laid. And I love my wigs flat. So I just take a flat iron and put the heat like that. I just love me with black hair. Oh, and this does come like a natural brown and we dyed it black. And I'm just gonna put some oil at the ends of it this Moroccan oil the classic Moroccan oil I don't like my hair too oily and like I just said this hair doesn't need that much oil because it's still shiny but we gotta just get rid of those flyaways so now I'm about to relay my baby hairs just to have it you know extra crispy and I like to take any kind of gel first and then lay my baby hairs cause and then I put the got to be glue on top of it And this is just from the beauty supply store. Don't sleep on the beauty supply store. They got everything in there. They got Fashion Nova clothes. They got makeup, lip gloss, lashes. Stop shop. Like the beauty supply store really is a one stop shop. So don't sleep on it. So now I'm just about to put this wrap on it. I sell it from my shop. And it's like Coban to me. So yeah, y'all, don't forget to check out Julia Hair. The hair details will be in the description box below. So now we can get started on the makeup, which I'm going to just do my brows real quick. I've been really doing them natural. I take, I use two brow products. I don't think I ever use my, I don't think I ever showed y'all like how I do my brows on camera, but I just take the Anastasia Dip Brow in chocolate and then I take the um, precise, Precisely My Brow Pencil um, from Benefit and then first I just outline. What the fuck? I know it's not broke. Okay, there you go. Outline my natural eye first because my eyebrow is already thick. I'm growing them out. Congratulations to me. And yeah. Oh, don't mind my forehead, please. Every time I'm about to get on my menstrual, my forehead just goes crazy. Like, it's a pimple party. Sorry, y'all. I really have to focus on my brows because the brows is just important. And my brows are never the same. Well, I try to make them the same every time I do them, but... They just don't turn out that way. Okay, y'all. So, brows are on. Period pool. They fucking snatched. I snatched them. So, okay. So, let's get into the face routine. So, y'all been really asking me about, like, my eye cream a lot. And I'm really... I know y'all want to probably hate this fucking product because it's Kylie Jenner. But, bitch, this is really the key, like, to, like, my under eyes being fucking snatched um because this is just like i don't know like the formula and it's just so thick and then it's tinted so it just really just conceals my under eyes with just being a cream and just like not concealer i don't know 
this shit is really the go and you really need to pick it up because if you got them dark eyes honey you really need to get a under eye cream like it's never too late to start early you can be still 19 using the eye cream it doesn't really matter um you can always prevent aging and shit like that i always use the eye cream i've been using eye cream since i was like 18 that's why i barely even got many dark circles my mama always taught me like you can just prevent it like you don't have to be old using it i mean anti-aging products you don't have to be old and using anti-aging products you know what i mean so anyway so i just been prepping my skin with the tatcha's um silk canvas i really like like this because it just makes my face look like a filter and it really just makes my skin look so flawless with my foundation like i'm telling you but the first time i used it i made a mistake i really like dipped my hand in it i talked about this in my favorites video and my shit was like gray looking i'm like what the fuck like ashy so anyways let's talk about it so in one of my videos i had said that i like dating older men and that's just facts now that i'm older um and like you know when you're younger you're like because i was literally talking to my friend i was like i don't i was like i never would have thought like i would want to talk to an older man like uh wrinkly dick like ill it's like ill get your ass away from me like you could be my fucking daddy or something like that which is true but you know what i wouldn't date past you know like 50 but i mean if them pockets fat maybe i don't know <laughs> no i'm playing y'all I'm, I'm a city girl i'm a hot girl so anyways so like i was saying i like dating older men just because younger dudes just aren't like my cup of tea anymore because you know i've been hurt before by like younger dudes and like all younger dudes do has all they want to do is and all they want to do is give you a headache like what the fuck can you really do for me like what can how can i learn from you as far as like me opening up my own business or me having building my credit or me making money while i sleep like shit like that like how how can i learn from you like and i really feel like older dudes older men are just more experienced they're more attentive to you um and i really feel like that just because they're looking for a wife even though you may be like, ugh, I don't want to fucking marry you, all this fuck. But that's not probably your end all. Like, that could be your friend. You learn it from them or whatever. And you just got to go in with an open mind. I'm not saying, like, go f for some money or some shit like that. But, I mean, hey, if you want to do that, that's your f pussy, not mine. I don't give a fuck. Older men are more attentive. They're, they're willing to invest in you. They're willing to teach you like how to be a business a boss like how to run your own business and shit like that i mean it's a lot of older niggas like that still act young as fuck don't don't get me wrong like they still act like they young like wanna just fuck on some young pussy and shit like that them are the older niggas you need to avoid like don't fuck with them fuck with the boss fuck with the nigga that's running the shit like don't fuck with nobody that they can't help you get through life it's 2019 like everybody's opening up their own business their own oh, hair company let that let that nigga invest in you like these younger dudes they don't want to invest in you all they want to do is just fuck and i don't have time for that <laughs> and that's just the honest truth the older men are more successful and once like me that's why i'm always like I, I don't know if y'all know th know this but you'll probably know if like I think I talked about it in a get ready with me like a long time ago I had said that I like ain't hanging out with older people like I was that 19 year old 18 year old hanging out with the 24 year olds because I was learning stuff from them I, that's how I learned like my like one of my good friends she's a makeup artist she's older than me and i just love being around her and her older friends they're more successful and that just makes me want to go harder you know what i mean so like when you're messing with a man it's different because you're gonna always be around him and then that man could want just wants to put you in a position to win and 
like how can you knock that like you can't knock it now that i'm older i'm in a different type of mindset i'm like not thinking like i don't know i'm just thinking more being smarter with my decisions on who i want to waste my time with because i just don't want to waste time anymore i never thought i would be the one to want to date like a bald head old nigga hey i mean like don't date no 80 year old i mean if you fucking want to, I mean, like, his days are numbered, bitch. You might be able to get on the fucking wheel. I've been dated past 45. Like, older niggas just like me. I don't know why they do. <laughs> I mean, I understand. I mean, I'm attractive or whatever when I, I'm cute. You know, I be looking busted down sometimes. But a bitch can get real dressed up real cute. And I like being catered to, like, <laughs> I love it. I just love the shit. I love the attention. I love, I love it. Like, the fuck? I love getting them visas. I love getting, what did Meg Stallion say? She was like, put me on the, um, as an authorized user because I don't want to wait or some shit like that. <laughs> Bitch, it's niggas really out here that don't do shit like that. I'm just telling y'all the tea. I'm just letting y'all know what the fuck is going on. I'm not crying over no fucking body that just want to be out here fucking and can't do nothing for me you know so uh, what is the oldest you'll date and would you date an older man that's my question for you to leave in the comments i just want to know the tea and we are not here to judge so if you're gonna be a little judgmental bitch you can't really get the fuck out of my comments and that's period or you'll get fucking blocked and i'm not fucking playing i know i'm being a little potty mouth right now but so I'm just um, putting this concealer on the Makeup Forever HD. Aaliyah put me on these. These are the fucking shit. Like these really make my fucking under eyes like, like they just so fucking snatched. So now I'm gonna be mixing these two powders. She put me on this too, y'all. Like she the fucking goat. So bitch, if you're watching this, thank you for putting me on. Thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So I use the Hourglass and the Laura Mercier powder mixed together. We finna cook this shit up, cooking real shit. I do not bake. I just set my under eyes and wherever I highlight it. Like, oh my God, look at me being a fucking beauty guru for 20 minutes straight. Like, oh my God. Yeah, and I'm gonna set my powder and like, I'm gonna take all this fucking money and I'm gonna fucking buy me a Bentley that's what I'm gonna fucking do look how snatched my under eyes look like period and then for my nose I bake my nose though cause I really love my nose being snatched oh and also I wanna know like what is your preference and what type of nigga do you like to date it's just like it's not like having a sugar daddy. It's not like that. Like, he could be your friend. He could be, like, just somebody you cool with. Like, you don't have to be messing, like, fucking on nobody to get no info out of them. Like, some of these older men, they just want somebody that's going to be around. Like, they just want some attention. Like, older dudes be lonely that are married. And then you, but, but then you question, like, why you not married yet with your old ass? And then, but you don't give a fuck about that. You just gonna take your little info. You're gonna take your information. You're gonna run with it. You're gonna open up your fucking business. You're gonna get your credit score up. You gonna fucking, you know, do what you gotta do, sis. It ain't what you know, it's who you know. So, and that's just that. So for my eyes, I just like to keep it real simple. Like, I don't really do too much with eyeshadow. I'm just probably gonna use the now boarding from this Morphe palette real quick and put it on my brush. Literally, this is all I do. Like, seriously. Seriously. I don't know if I wanna wing today or not. But it looks ugly right now, but I'm about to blend this up. Oh, and y'all wanna know an example of like, you can really tell she likes older niggas, but Lori Harvey. That bitch is out in Mexico right now with P fucking Diddy, bitch. And she fucking um, uploaded some fire pictures on the gram. He know her fucking angles. But yeah, you could just tell she likes more mature men. Because I think that's all she talks to. 
is just more mature. The bitch is only 21 and P. Diddy like what? How old is P. Diddy? I don't even know, but he old as fuck, obviously. Who like is who you like? Who gives a shit? Like, I know you gonna be in a store shopping with him and shit, and they gonna be like, that's her sugar daddy, but who cares? <laughs> nobody gives a fuck. And we are not here to judge. I judge nobody. Like, do you, boo? Do you? I never put my eyeshadow on like this heavy. So, but let me brush out my lashes real quick and i love how lori harvey just doesn't care like she don't care like what y'all gonna say they ain't saying shit but she um a city girl just gonna take um this brown liner and i'm just gonna go underneath my lashes to make it dark highlight my under brow with this what's sunny's Sunny is sunny is sunny is sunny is sunny is. It's a big rich town. Yeah. First, we're gonna take away this. Okay. And then I'm gonna contour two bronzers. So the first one I'm gonna use is the Give Me Sun by MAC. I love this. This gives me like that natural um sun kiss glow. I recently just got this. And I love looking like bronze kids, sun kids. Like, look how just like natural that looks. Like a natural bronze. And I'm using this big fluffy brush um, by Morphe M527. Wow, I'm really being a beauty guru right now. I never do this. <laughs> what the fuck has got into me? Y'all, so today Kim Kardashian came out with her um her shapewear girl i was trying to get some and i couldn't everything was so out in my size i was really upset so and then one thing i really like to do is i like to look straight in my mirror and i really just like to really contour my face because i have really high cheekbones as you can see i have really strong features and when i do this it just like it just I don't know it just snatches my face and then on top of that I'm gonna put the Island Team by Fenty Beauty on top of it and then I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit with my powder my leftovers from fuck my fucking batteries dying my batteries low so let me hurry up literally all I'm gonna do is just contour my nose y'all but oh, hold on, let me hurry. How the fuck is this gonna die already? I really need to get two batteries. And this is just um, Mac um, Mineralized Finishing Dark. I'm just gonna blend everything out. Oh my god! Let me try to go. Okay, y'all. This is the most important part, honestly. So I'm really just gonna contour my nose real quick, and then I'll come back and apply blush and my lipstick i'm just gonna charge my battery real quick okay y'all so i let my battery charge for a little bit and i'm about to set my oh shit i'm about to set my face with the mac prep and prime fix plus setting spray this is my favorite perfume y'all i'm about to spray it baccarat I already applied my lip liner. It's Cork by MAC. And now I'm about to apply Honey Love. Y'all, this is literally the bad bitch combo. I will never get over it. Like, I will never. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of this NYX. I think this is called Madeline. Ooh, okay she's ready she's cute i look the fuck good bitch what let me spray some more Woo. hey 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 who buying me a drink tonight like oh my god let's take all this fucking money and run bitch 
Okay, y'all, so that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this video. And don't forget to check out Julia Hair Company. Because y'all know this wig is laid. She's ready. She looking a little expensive. So, yeah. Check the description box below. And, yeah, I love y'all so much. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Bye.